the items you're about to see can be purchased on my eBay website at Whitney Labrie Events. Hey everybody, Whitney Labrie here and welcome to What's New Wednesdays. If you're new to my channel, this is a video that I do about once a month, sometimes twice, where I show you new and pre-owned items that are about to hit my eBay store. You can watch the program, see the items firsthand, and then you can jump right on over to my eBay website. They will always be posted right after the show at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So if you love treasure haul shows, don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't like treasure haul shows, don't unsubscribe just stay tuned for my regular scheduled videos on Sunday okay so straight out of the gate I've got this really pretty pink satin chair here with these really pretty panels it's in a walnut finish but as I turn the back over, you can see here that one of the panels is gone, unfortunately. So someone who knows upholstery and how to do miniature upholstery, this actually could be a chair that maybe you can bring back to its former glory. This is just a really nice collection of cherry finished spindle back chairs and of course these can be repainted to any color that you want but they're all in really nice shape and these are all made of wood. Ooh, this is kind of exciting. These are some vintage Sonia Messer living room pieces here and I've got a wing back chair and it's in really great shape and this is the green floral fabric and it is super groovy but it's awesome and then this, this is a little armless side chair here. Could be a dining chair but I think it's actually meant to go in the living room as an accent piece but these are in really good shape. The, the fabric is in nice condition too and it doesn't look like any of the fabric is pulling away and I'm not really seeing any glue stains or anything either. And then here's a matching ottoman for the same collection. Obviously, you can see the same fabric. This is gorgeous. This is in really good shape too. I think this is an ottoman or I guess technically it could even be like a little pet bed. It's super cute. Well, look at this. We've got a black leather sofa here, and it is a three cushion sofa too. And um, you know, the cushions come off, which is nice. It does obviously need to have a little sofa sweeping on underneath those cushions, but hey, what sofa doesn't need a little cleaning under those cushions, am I right? So it's got a little imperfections on the back here, and I'm guessing that's probably from being inside this box and having stuff just sitting on top of it. And then we've got the matching chair to go with it here. I think in overall it's in good condition, but the leather or leatherette, it's not real leather, has a few little divots in it and a little flaws. We've got a really great white metal rack here. I love these pieces. We had a whole bunch last time and I think they almost all sold. So it's really great to find another piece like this. I love these because this could be a baker's rack. It could go in the garden. It could actually go in the bathroom also. So these are really great versatile pieces. This one does have some white paint chips that have kind of flaked off here and there. So overall, nice piece, just needs the right accessories. So here's a gorgeous timeless piece here. This is a ladies vanity, a dressing table. This is fantastic merchandise. Someone has painted the back of it gold. You can see that I'm trying to get these drawers open, but you know, I'm always afraid of pulling off the hardware. So I'm gonna be very gentle. But anyway, you can see the beautiful detail on this piece on the front drawer, on the base of it, the cabrio legs, and all the great scroll work around the mirror. So. It's not damaged, it is in really good shape, it just needs a little cleaning, and that's it. Here we have a really nice Sonia Messer piece. This is the kitchen or dining hutch. It's really pretty. It's in this really nice walnut finish. All the drawers and doors open nice and smooth. I actually saw someone take this piece and they did a two-tone paint job on it. And oh my God, it was just an absolutely gorgeous piece. So the finish on it is actually well enough to leave alone just as it is. Maybe just do a little wood oil or something like that to make it a little bit more vibrant. But other than that, it's it's really good to go. Ooh, another piece of groovy Sonia Messer living room furniture, this cute little corner chair. Hopefully I'll have the whole collection.
This is a cool little trunk and it's in the open position and cannot be closed and then they've added a few things to it. And just to let you know, when I have stuff like this, unless everything is really looks good and is solid inside, I do typically remove the items and sell it without them so that you can add your own things to it. So just know that if you're looking for this trunk on eBay, it's probably empty. Here's a wooden backgammon table here and all the pieces are already glued to the top and they are not removable. And then the front of it looks like it maybe had drawers at one time or, or something went there. But then when you kind of look underneath it doesn't really have any area that would have like supported drawers so I'm not sure. But maybe you know and if you do let me know in the comments below. All right, so this is a really special piece. This is a Bezpak piece here. You can see it's missing a couple hardware, but at least one of them is actually sitting inside there. So, and then I'm gonna try to open up this top part here. And of course, you guys know I'm nervous already about pulling that piece of hardware off, but it does flip open and you can see inside that it is velvet lined or has that green felt lining inside. I'm gonna just guess. I don't really know what this piece would be for. I wanna say that it's like a music cabinet. So maybe it held records and then maybe it held piano scrolls. Another part of me wants to think that maybe it's an office piece and this is for filing. So you let me know if you know exactly what this is. I would love to know myself. I'm probably going to list it as a Bezpak music or office cabinet just to be safe. So if you're looking for it, it'll be under that. The other thing to note about this piece is that the interior drawers have dividers, but one is a little bit loose. And then the leg, one of the legs on the front is a little bit crooked, but it does not look like it has been repaired. It just looks like it's a little bit crooked. I really love it, especially that ornate detail at the top. This item here, this is just a great bookshelf. Of course, it could be used in the garage. It could be used in a library. It could be used in a kid's room. You could paint it. It's already been stained, but you could just go wild making it yours. This is a mission style Bez pack table here, like a little bookcase or a side table. They have glued some pieces down with what looks to be white glue. So I will probably remove those pieces, but likely there's gonna be a little bit of damage underneath. This item here is really cool. It could be, of course, used for the backdrop to a bar, or you could use it in a store, you could use it in sort of a bakery, a candy shop. I mean, really, there's a lot of great uses for it. This one happens to be unfinished, so you can stain it or paint it whatever color that you want. And then the shelving is plastic, and it's got that mirrored back. And then when you turn it around, those are faux cabinets, but it looks like it, it's set up for you if you wanted to do like a battery pack back there and light this cabinet. So it's really neat. Here is a really great garden or patio bench, well-made piece, and it has the label underneath, which is Debbie's Little Treasures. It does look to be handmade, and it's in really good condition. It's got some little special details on it too. This would be so great with like uh, loading it with really fabulous pillows, maybe having a couple magazines or books sitting on there, maybe even like a little tray of iced tea or lemonade. This could really be sweet. This is fun. This is just a vintage little trinket box here. You could use it as a coffee table or like a store display or something. And then this is another fantastic merchandise piece. This is a obviously a wingback chair. It's got this really neutral fabric on it. It's like a sateen fabric. And then it does look like there's been a little bleeding, a little stain bleeding around the top edge of the fabric, unfortunately. But that really looks maybe like the only flaw, a little interior glue stains. It looks like some yellowing. These are Town Square miniature Victorian chairs, and I'm not sure really if this is the original fabric that came on it. I have come across several pieces in this collection where the fabric was redone. They're an overall okay shape. It does appear that some of the fabric panels are coming loose, so whoever purchases these, you might have to do a little bit of gluing, but other than that, they're okay. 
This is a Tiani Bronowal piece. This is done in the 80s. This is a really great modern desk set here. One of the little uh, foot braces is missing on this one, but this stuff is, I just love it. It's got this really mid-century modern vibe to it, to me, but you know, obviously this is a like a home computer desk. It even has like the little slat for the printer paper to come up through, or you could put your cords down through there as well for your desktop. And then this Lucite piece here, it looks like, I, I think this is actually like storage for the bathroom or something, but probably in the miniature world, this was a modern bunk bed set or something like that. You tell me what you think. This is just a very inexpensive side chair here. Uh, the quality is fairly low on it and it does have some staining, but this is also a really cool piece. This would be a great makeover piece or a piece to use in an abandoned project. Uh, you can definitely paint this and make it look like leather. So this is one of those items that you could really get creative with. Here is actually a faux leather cream colored sofa. This is probably a town square miniature. It's got some burgundy stains on it. And I'm just thinking that someone got a little crazy one night with a little a bottle of wine, a glass of wine and spilled it. That's what I'm thinking. So I would have to just turn these cushions over and go with it from there. Uh, the back, you can see a little bit of the glue has kind of seeped out and has yellowed over time. Here is an unfinished piece here as well. This is a, like a foot trunk or a could actually be a large tool box too. It does look like it's handmade. It has some decent hardware on it. You know, it's pretty well made. The front of it, they use almost like wood remnants to do some sort of like decoration on the front. So it just needs some staining and some of great accessories. I love this item here. This is an outdoor garden bench or workbench. It has a sink already in it, so it just needs a little bit of hardware. It is handmade, you can tell, and you know, it's not perfect, but it already has that sitting out in the garden for years look, which of course can be really hard to replicate. So that part's already done. Now you just really need to add the accessories. Here is a what looks like a high chair or a bar stool. What I love about this, it has the curved corners on the back. So somebody who really knew what they were doing made this. It, the brand on the bottom actually is a British label, but I don't know what the brand would be. There is one British dollhouse furniture manual. Well, there's several, but I believe it's called Escuchion and they have like a keyhole brand marking on the bottom of their stuff. So I don't think that that's what this is, but it is a high quality piece. You can tell even the seat grooves are, are there and it, the stain job also is really nice. So let me know if you know this brand. All right, here we have an inlaid chess game table. I think this is a town square miniature item here. It is missing some of the chess pieces, but these chess pieces are just the small common metal ones that you can purchase pretty much anywhere so I'll probably remove those because they're missing a few. This chair here I've come across a couple of these in this collection. It's got this very vintage vibe. It, it almost has an antique vibe really and it has the hand painted a gold Asian motif on it and of course the seat cushion and the backing is this red velvet material and you can see that it's got some age to it. Here is a modern refrigerator. This is made by Minis and Me. It's in really good condition. It doesn't have any issues. I don't think that it's missing anything. I don't believe that there are drawers that come with this on the interior, but all of the pieces, you know, it's pretty clean. It feels like it was probably never used. Most of these items came from a dollhouse shop and they were just sitting on display, but a lot of the items, of course, putting mini hold on them, you know, to show how you could use the item, but this one doesn't look like anything was ever sat inside. There is one little flaw at the top part of it, and I'm guessing that that is where they put some sort of museum wax or something like that to hold it in place in inside a room box. This is a handmade trash can. The center piece, the swivel portion of where the door sits is actually broken, so that's kind of a bummer. But this is a neat, this is kind of clever. It's actually made from one of those plastic acrylic boxes that you see a lot of miniatures sold in that are like protective cases. And I think it's pretty cool. So if we could figure out just a way to fix that top part, um, you know, if I could find either a plastic dowel or maybe even like a little toothpick that could go through there and hold the top on this could be a really cool modern plastic trash can 
Okay, now I found a couple bags here. One is a flower bag, and then one is, looks like it's like a little dirt, little dirt bag for maybe a garden setup. Or this could be the, the internal portion of like a flower sack that someone was gonna use so it had some real good weight to it like this other one has. So this is a vintage Balenciaga perfume holder and it's got the vintage tufted look to it. But what's really fun about this is it kind of looks like a laundry basket, you know, like a vintage laundry basket from like the 50s or 60s. So I could see that. I could see why it was uh, mixed into this miniature lot. Here's another piece of that Sonia Messer living room set. So this is more like a ladies dressing table or vanity chair and it's perfect condition and it's gorgeous. Here we have a brass, what I would say is a, like a dining table maybe or a sofa table or maybe it's a desk actually because it does have one side that's open. It doesn't look like well, that was damaged. So maybe it's like a, supposed to be like a modern desk here from the 80s and the lucite is not that yellowed which is, you know, an issue with a lot of these lucite pieces. Here is a cool modern clock. This is probably a regular clock. Well, it's, it is small. I don't know if who made this or if this was a handmade item or a purchased item. I'm not seeing a brand, but I'm also wondering if it's something that is a, is a piece to like a larger piece, if that makes sense, that they just removed because it looked like a miniature. Here's another clock. And this one is a regular large, like a regular person size clock. <laughs> and um, it was probably just like a bedside clock or a desk clock that they were using more in a modern living room or something like that, which is probably why it's in this box. Here is just a regular mahogany chest and it's probably town square. It is very, very cherry for sure. And it feels like there might be, oh, see, I removed a ha hardware, of course, that always happens. <laughs> All right, well, let me put those back and then try to pull this drawer out. And you can see that there's some clothes inside there or something. So let's take a look at what that is. All right, so it's like a little strapless gown. I would say that it's smaller than Barbie, so let me know if you know who this little dress belonged to. I'm gonna try to open this bottom drawer here, but I've already pulled the hardware out of it also. So it's really stuck too, so I'm gonna try to finagle out. Oh, okay, so there's more clothes inside of here, and we have Oh, like another little dress. Definitely 80s styles right now. And then we have a little pair of blue pants. And this top drawer, I, I'm having a hard time getting it open. And of course, I've pulled out all the hardware. So, okay, finally, I was able to get it open using a little pair of tweezers. And then now we could finally see what's inside. I mean, we have to see what's inside, right? I mean, that's part of it. And it just looks like a piece of mesh that someone had like as a scarf. And then the second part is a striped shirt. All right. So I love that this dresser was filled with clothes. That's great. All right, so moving on, we have a Sonia Messer gate table here. This gate table is pretty cool. It looks like it would fold up, but it doesn't. It does have one leg that needs a little bit of a repair. It's not broken, it just needs a little glue right there. And then other than that, it just needs a good dusting and it's gorgeous. Okay, so we've got a wardrobe here. This is Shackman, and when you open it up, it has a wardrobe bar and then it has a couple shelves and the bottom area there, would have had two drawers actually. So I don't know if we'll find those in this box or if they are missing. All right, next item here, we have a small trunk and I think this is Town Square Miniature. I think they did a line here with different scenes on the top. This one has more like a nautical theme. It's got a lighthouse on it and some ships in the distance. It's in a really pretty walnut finish, but it does have a little divot here in the front, but the hinges are in good shape and overall, you know, the integrity is there. All right, here we have a gold bistro table with a plastic removable top, which is great for cleaning. Metal piece, no damage. Top is actually in decent shape too, no, no major scratches or anything on it. Okay, now we've got another Shackman wardrobe. This one has a little bit different hardware on it. Couple, a little Barbie shoe and like a sticker or something. 
inside there. And then this one has the hanger and it has both the drawers. So this one is in perfect shape. Good to see. Needs a little dusting, but most of these pieces do. Another trunk here. This one has some fun goodies inside as a little striped pajama set, which is super cute. It's got a plastic bowling pin and a book. And this one is nice because you can close it and it is done by Reeves Line. Very good condition. I've slowly become a real fan of Reeves Line furniture. I always kind of lumped it in with Shackman for some reason, but over the last year, definitely as I've really handled a lot more of the Reeves Line, I've become more of a fan. It feels much better. It feels like a little bit higher quality than the Shackman stuff. Here's another TE desk. This is the corner portion that goes with that other piece we saw earlier. This one has the T&E on the bottom in the year 1988. This one, the, both the footings are there and all the metal is in good shape. And I will, I will definitely sell these items together as a set. Okay, what do we have here? This is, I thought that this was a Dan Wooding piece. You know what? It is. And he did a lot of other stuff, kitchen type items like chairs and hutches. And I haven't ever seen the trunk piece here, but really good quality pieces. It's really pretty. The finish on it is really nice. Kind of has this really worn look. His stuff is like New England style and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, bring on the 80s brass and lucite pieces here. We have a ton of these. They have stickers all over them, which is super hard to get off of lucite and this one has a magazine also glued this one has a phone you know so there is a product that you can buy that is supposed to remove the yellow but I have never tried it so let me know if you've ever tried to get the yellowing off of lucite and what products you've used and if it's been successful okay here we have some vintage brass bistro tables with the mesh seating we've got two of them and you know they're both in good shape. Another one of those modern wall clocks here. I would say that these are really not in that great of shape and I'll probably have to really clean them and take a look at them and see if they even work. Here is another piece to that desk set. So now we've got three of the T&E modern desk sets. So it does look like we have two flanking pieces and then the corner piece for the middle. So that's really great that we've got all of the pieces. Well, I think all the pieces, <laughs> but at least it feels like a complete set. All right, this is another best pack piece. This is a small coffee table, but look at the ornate detail on this. From what I'm seeing, it's in perfect condition. There are no issues. I'm not seeing any chips or anything missing. The stain is in okay shape too. So that's exciting. That's a nice piece. All right, here we have a Harvest Concord piece here, an at-home Concord piece. I have this, I have come across this dresser a few times. What I love about it is it can be a really great dresser or it could actually stand in as a really great dining buffet piece. You've got the line drawers at the top, which is a really nice little detail. The hardware though is probably some of my favorite hardware. Unfortunately, two of the drawers are missing the hang down portion of the, of the handle, which is kind of a bummer but uh, the integrity is there. There's no major damage. Here we have another garden bench or a workbench. This is a great piece for your garage. It could be used at a hardware store even. It does look handmade, but I'm not really seeing any signatures or anything. All right, here we have an Aztec resin television. This is, uh, looks like it was probably made to look like, like a early 2000s television because it kind of has that modern flat screen look, but it's still kind of a little thick <laughs> and it's got the plug in and everything. So cool piece. This could definitely be used in a more modern living room or game room. Here we've got a few more accessories. I've got some pillows here. I've got two bags of flour or general store type items. All right, here's a fantastic merchandise ottoman with a neutral fabric. It doesn't go to that chair we saw earlier. This, has, this fabric here is a little bit darker, but has a really pretty walnut finish. 
And here we just have a little set of either kitchen cabinets. This probably goes to the Town Square miniature kitchen set with the walnut finish and the white tops. But this actually could also be as a little bathroom cabinet too, maybe like above the toilet. Or really, of course, you could use this in a garage type setting as extra storage. Here we have a very cherry finished coffee table. I'm going to guess this also is Town Square miniature. What I love about this table is it has that drawer, storage drawer for the remote controls. I often wish I had a coffee table myself myself with a remote control drawer. Here we have another wall cabinet. This is great with the little storage drawer. This would be fun in a country kitchen. But I think you might be able to actually use this in a bathroom if you wanted to. You know, that's the great thing about all this furniture is really you can use it for whatever you want. Another unfinished trunk with the removable inset tray. Good hardware and ready to go for you to stain whatever color or finish that you want. Here's another ottoman here, same type of fabric. It's in good condition. The pink fabric on it has a little tiny flaw, a stain maybe, but I usually do not try to clean the fabrics and I just kind of sell them this way because I'm not a professional furniture cleaner and so I don't want any take chances on damaging it. Here's an unfinished desk. So we've got a lot of office furniture in this lot today. All the drawers and everything open, you know, but it's pretty much ready for you to stain in color and add your own hardware. It does have a little staining on it, and I'm guessing it's two things. It's either that someone put a little mini hold on this and had something stuck to it, or the price tag that was on it originally left a couple marks. So there's a mark on the top, and then there's a little mark on the side. Here's another Reeves line piece. This is just the little kitchen stool or bathroom stool or garage stool, you know, whatever you want. Beautiful shape and no issues. Here is a gun cabinet. I believe this is Shackman and it is, you know, it's an okay shape. The, the plastic windows have yellowed, which is obviously a common feature of this older vintage furniture. And then one of the interior, and one of them is a little bit loose. That is easily fixed or, and or replaced. You know, you can you can purchase that material and, and change it out very easily. It doesn't cost very much to do that at all. Here we have just a little baby armoire or a little baby wardrobe and dresser here. The side-by-side -side is really great. There's a couple different manufacturers that made this. Paint job is a little bit higher quality on this than other brands that I have seen. Here's a Shackman three drawer chest of drawers here, our, our dresser. All the drawers come out really nicely. There is a small flaw on the front of one, and it's hard to tell if it's the flaw is in the stain or if something press, it was pressed up against and left like a little divot there. And then here's another Harvest Home Concord piece. This is actually goes to that chest or that dresser that we saw earlier. This one is nice because it's got the three drawers and then the three opening cabinets here. This piece here for sure can be used in the dining room. It's got good storage, but same issue as the other one. The hardware is flawed. It is missing one of the uh, handles. Stain is good. Condition, overall integrity is good. This is an inexpensive bedroom high boy here all the drawers and everything open the the cabinet doors open and then it's got that open space there which i'm guessing maybe originally was meant for like a little tiny tv when we had little tiny tvs in the bedroom <laughs> but obviously you could also put a little jewelry box inside there or some kind of like fun little accessories or little tchotchkes here we have a two drawer wooden file cabinet and it's in good shape this is Town Square Miniature, most likely. Oh yeah, there's the little symbol on the bottom. This would go to that desk set that we saw earlier. This is in the bottom. This was just a big bead, it looks like, or a vase. Someone put a little cap on the bottom so they could use it as a vase. It's great. It's just, um, It reminds me of a cow. This is a gorgeous Sonia Messer table here. It's a taller table. It almost could be like a game table. It's too tall to be like a coffee table type end table, but it could be a parlor table for sure. And I really love the cream color that it has. I like the lighter finishes. And so this is really pretty. It's got the serpentine edges on the top. Okay, another desk. 
This is Shackman also, and it is finished, but they've got a little bit of a two-tone going on there, and you could definitely restain this to be a, any color that you want. It does have a couple flaws in the top. It looks like it's actually in the wood and not damaged, but I think you could probably do a little wood filler in that and do a sand and sand it down, and the top would actually look like new. So all the drawers do open. It's in overall good shape. All right, so here is a really pretty buffet piece. It has a little bit of a Spanish style to it. I love the hardware. At first, I thought that this might be fantastic merchandise, but when I opened the drawers, it began to feel like a handmade item. There's something about the way the drawers are. And so then I started thinking that maybe this is either handmade or a kit. Uh, the drawers just feel really thin and they're not perfect like a manufacturer made item would be which is why i'm saying that so here's an asian style wardrobe it doesn't have any labels i haven't seen this piece before so if you know the label on this or the brand please let me know uh when you open up the top cabinets you could the drawers do pop out it has a shelf on the side and then all the drawers are removable as well All right, everybody, so that's it for this week. I hope that you saw something that you just couldn't live without. Of course, if you're new to this channel, just to let you know, you can now pop on over to my eBay website, which is Whitney Libri Events, and all the items should be listed there. They're either under the featured categories based on what I was able to pull out of this box today, or they're under newly listed items. If you need to find my eBay website, you can either go to the, my YouTube homepage and click on the link that says eBay, or you can also find the link in the description. Thank you everybody for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you Sunday for my regular scheduled video. Bye!